Immediate response from you, just yes. a, a punter like the rest of us. Yeah. What do you make of what's going on with our country? Um, I think it's absolute kind of confusion for everybody at the moment mm. and sort of it seems fairly worrying no matter what side of the debate or, mm. or the question you were on and uh, it's a wait and see moment but I, I don't know if people are generally walking around going oh well, that's all clear and <laughs> well, what a jolly thing is that's all clear I think we've got weeks and weeks uh, probably of turmoil and confusion ahead of us which is you know disconcerting and what people want is they don't want doom and gloom <clears throat> and pessimism they sure. want us to roll up our sleeves Crack on with yeah, it. Yeah, and, and be united, I suppose. That's the Absolutely. thing that it is about being, you know, accepting what they As is. Churchill Get said, let us go forward together. Alan Rickman was your best man. He was. Alan was a great friend. I yeah. was very lucky to be able to call him a good close friend. Yeah. And, and he, did you stay right up to his day? He stayed good Yeah, friend? yeah, exactly. We, we did. He introduced me to my wife, uh, Dahlia, so that was kind of how that happened. But I worked with him not long after I did Bugs Malone in the theatre. I was really? very lucky. Yeah, and he stayed, remained a great friend. Yeah. So. Uh, he was yeah, a was great, great I'd never met him, but he was a great actor. No, I know. I know. He was a great man, great, great friend. Yeah, yeah he was absolutely a right. Loss, really right. Um, and it's not just uh, Bugsy Malone uh, that we're celebrating BAFTA. Also exactly. Well, you know, this this uh, this week at BAFTA, they're they're recreating Fat Sam's uh, Grand Slam. You can go there and see the splurge guns, and there's a bit of an exhibition in the beginning of August as You're well. You're going to go, aren't you? I think I will. You should yeah. come along. It will be great. So Alan Park will be there this Wednesday doing right. a Q&A with myself and Bonnie Langford, who was in the film, and a few others. Yes, of course. So it will be quite... It's a bit of a reunion for us all. Uh, I like that uh, Hotel Babylon series you were in. And I, I, when yeah. you go to hotels now with your wife, I mean, and you ask for something from the concierge, they go, all right, mate, I got you. No, I, got I, you. I wish they would. I mean, I was, I was recently in a hotel and I wanted the concierge really to deliver and he was really rubbish. And I thought, <laughs> I've only acted as a concierge, but I'm better at the job <laughs> than you are. This is really annoying. You acted as a journalist, of course, as well in press game. I did. You did? Yeah, that was, that was uh, considerably Did you like elevating well. yourself into the life of being a journalist? Uh, yes, I, I, I was more the sort of uh, street gutter press kind of stuff. But no, well, I did. I had a lot of fun. I wouldn't, know, very I wouldn't know what that is. Uh, Dexter, always good to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. much indeed for coming in. Thanks, Best of luck guys. with the Bugsy Malone. 40 years old. Wow, that Thanks. has made me feel yeah. ancient. I remember feeling very down on my luck one afternoon. Just He, he caught me, he came around, and I was just eating a can of beans with a spatula. <laughs> no furniture. That. Beautiful flat, nothing in it. Where's home for you now, then? Is it the States? No, it's still here. It's still here. It's here, but it's, I'm never here. But it's here.